Um, okay, so I'm going to jump right down then to the supplement question, which was, should I take a multivitamin? Um, there's a split, I would say, in the nutrition world in that. Um, my opinion, and certainly the opinion of Inside Tracker, is no. Um, unless you eat like only ham sandwiches or cat food, you are most likely eating a variety of foods in your diet and therefore getting a variety of nutrients in your diet. Um, people that would benefit from a multivitamin are those that have really limited diets, very picky eaters that don't include a lot of things. Um, if you aren't one of those people, there's really no reason to have it. You don't need an insurance policy for your vitamin intake. Um, you know, Encourage yourself to just eat a variety of colors and types of foods each day, and, and that's really going to cover it. Um, and an insight tracker, I would say that's a recommendation that a lot of our users get if they take a multivitamin, because now you're actually testing the levels of some of these nutrients in your blood, and they're insanely high, and they don't need to be. And it's because you're consistently taking one of these supplements that you really you don't need, and your body's not doing anything with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are being stored. A lot of them you're just peeing out, basically, at the end of the day if they're water soluble. But it's expensive um, pee. Yeah, and and it's some of them certainly can be dangerous. Most of them aren't, but it's just unnecessary. Um, save that money and go to the grocery store and buy like four more vegetables a week that you can incorporate. So long gone are the days of my Flintstone vitamin. Yes. I mean, those are very good. So if you want to <laughs> dessert, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the most part, there's no reason that people need to be taking a multivitamin if you are confident that you're eating a, a variety of foods in your diet. 